videographer on the edge. Feeling as though the lens of his relationship has become foggy, Bryce requests Cheater's help in clearing the air. In the, in the beginning, man, when we first got together, everything was great, man. Um, you know, I, Amber was, she was like a, kind of like a straight-edge person. And then just all of a sudden, this, this weed thing came, and she just wanted to smoke weed. And I, I, I didn't understand where it came from or, or why it even came about. But, you know, um, I thought we were, we were both on the same page. You know, she was working, so I figured she didn't want to lose her job just as well as I didn't want to lose my job for smoking weed. And... I don't know who introduced her to it, but ever since then, it's like, that's how she thinks about it every day, is waking up smoking weed. Amber Butler, age 31, a daycare worker accused of babying another man. After getting details on the suspect's schedule from Bryce, Cheater's headquarters dispatches a squad to the suspect's workplace. The suspect finishes her shift at work. A Cheater's mobile unit tails Butler through the neighborhood to a convenience store. After a quick stop to pick up a couple of beers, Butler gets back on the road. Followed closely by the Cheater's team, Butler arrives at a restaurant. The suspect gets out and walks to the front door. Butler returns to her vehicle a few moments later with an unknown man. They sit in the car and smoke. One, one day, man, we, when we, uh, we left church, and I, I, I kind of felt that there was a problem then, but I didn't address it. But as soon as we got out of church, we got in the car, she started rolling blunts. And I'm like, dude, what are you doing? We still in the church, on the church parking lot. And she, you know, she she rolled a blunt. And, and before we can get out the parking lot, she started smoking the blunt. So I'm telling her, hey, you know, you got to put that out because we're in church. And, 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 and the next thing comes out of my mouth is, so, hey, let's go around the back and have sex. And I'm like at the church like seriously and I mean it was kind of weird and, and it kind of it kind of pissed me off to be honest with you because I didn't understand it I thought she was playing but I mean she was she was she was really serious so one night I decided that I was going you know I was going to try to surprise her with some tickets that I got to a concert so I went over to her house and she told me she was at home so I just felt like you know if I was a man I could just surprise her when I walked in I immediately smelled the weed smoke, but you know, I didn't, I just thought, I just figured she had just been smoking. But, um, through, you know, when I was there, I, I started, I smelled men's cologne on her. When I hugged her, I smelled the cologne on her. Um, I went in the bathroom, I smelled cologne, and I realized that the toilet seat was up. So when I asked her about it, you know, of course, she tried to make it seem like I was crazy and, you know, saying that I, you know, I'm always tripping. And it just, I mean, it started a big old fight for nothing, man. And, you know, I was just asking questions because, I mean, I seen something different that I'd, I'd never seen before. A short while later, the couple exits the SUV. The male wraps his arms around Butler's shoulders as they walk into the building. After satisfying the munchies, Butler and her unknown man leave the restaurant. Pausing by the vehicle, Butler kisses her lunch date. The man leaves. Butler drives home, ending the day of surveillance. Man, if I find out that Amber's cheating on me, I don't know what I'm gonna do, man. I, 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 I put, I put a lot of energy and time into this relationship, man. And if I find out that Amber is cheating on me, I'm just, I'm probably gonna lose it. I'm probably, I don't, I don't know, man. They, they had to put me in a mental hospital or something. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Cheaters detectives continue surveillance of the suspect's workplace. Butler leaves work. The suspect travels to a quiet cemetery. Butler waits a few minutes. Eventually, the man from previous surveillance arrives. Butler gives him a massive hug. The man joins her in her vehicle. A quick smoke later, Butler and her partner get out feeling pretty mellow. The man, now identified as L.J. Bryant, wraps his arm around Butler. The two survey gravestones. As they stroll to the graveyard, Cheaters agents note Bryant does his best homage to Michael Jackson's thriller, which makes Butler laugh. The couple finds a spot to lay down a blanket. The pair finishes their smoke. Then, they get down to the business at hand. Sometime later, after the gravesite desecration, Butler and Bryant walk back to the vehicles. The suspect and her companion kiss each other goodbye. Bryant leaves. Butler returns to the daycare center. Cheater's private investigators stay glued to the suspect. 
Butler leaves Bryce's house. The suspect drives to a neighborhood park. Bryant waits on her. The suspect and her beau find a park table and bench. The couple sit down to cuddle while they smoke. After a few minutes, Butler and Bryant go back to the SUV. Cheater's agents watch the pair climb into the back seat. After some time, both get out, disheveled and half-dressed. Butler puts her coat on, and Bryant rearranges his attire. After a few moments, Butler says goodbye to Bryant with an intimate kiss. As her companion leaves, Butler gleefully runs around the back of the SUV. The suspect and her companion get into their respective vehicles. Bryant pulls away. As Butler leaves, returning to Bryce's house, Cheaters makes preparations for a meeting with Bryce. Coming up, the confrontation. Now that the suspect's deceitful activities come to light, Cheaters reaches out to Bryce. Frustrated and suspicious, Bryce determines to face down the facts. Bryce, first thing I'd like to say is uh, thank you for coming out with us this evening. I understand that there's been a lot going on in your life, let alone your relationship. Are you ready to see what we've come up with, Bryce? I'm not sure, man. I'm really not sure. I can understand that. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. All right. Tell me what you got. Bryce, we begin our investigation outside of Amber's workplace. You recognize the spot? Yes, I do. We see Amber walk out of that daycare center where she works. She gets into her vehicle, Bryce. It doesn't seem like she's in a hurry. Yeah, she ran out of there pretty quickly. Gets into her vehicle and drives to a cemetery of all places. A short time later, a silver real? sedan pulls up. She, wow. You recognize him? I know him. You got a name? Yeah, the dude's name is LJ. I know him. Okay. She runs out of the car with her arms in the air and oh, jumps Oh, now they on. all in love. Now they all lovey-dovey. Now they're they a couple now, right? Okay. In a cemetery. Okay. They, okay. they sit in her vehicle for a little bit. They come out. She's kind of got some, you know, small looking eyes. She's smiling a lot. Why does he keep hugging her? That's not your girl, dude. Not only that, I see something in his hand. I don't know if that's a cigar. He's blowing out a lot of smoke. They're passing it back and forth. And then he does some type of, was that Thriller? I don't know, he looked like an else, a lame to me, but are they smoking at, at bro? They're smoking cannabis, whoa. not only in a cemetery, whoa. but she lays down a blanket. They lay down together, getting high in the middle of the in cemetery. In a cemetery? And then he begins to kiss you all over your girl. Wow. Wow. They finish up. He has the audacity to walk her back to her vehicle, slaps her on the behind before giving her a hug and a kiss goodbye. Wow, bro, I can't believe this, man. Wow, dude, I can't believe this, man. That's my homeboy, dude, and you, man, I can't believe this, bro. I understand this I is really hard to this, believe, bro. but you know what? Seeing is believing, and this is 100% per your request what we got for you. After they finish up at the cemetery, she leaves, he leaves, and she returns to her work. On this day of our investigation, Bryce, we are outside of her residence. When she walks out, she receives a phone call from you. What mm -hmm. you're about to hear is the audio from that phone call. Tell me if what she says right here is true. Hello? Yo, what's up? Hey, babe, what you doing? I'm good, what you got going on? Um, I'm about to go and um, get my hair done. So she yeah. leaves for the hair appointment. I remember that conversation. So then after the hair appointment, she drives straight to a park. And who's standing there? LJ. Oh, why she got a damn hat done to me? So she lied to you. They go to a park. He sparks one up in broad daylight in a public they park. They tripping with this. Oh. She's smoking. He's smoking. Indulging in cannabis purely in public, broad daylight. A short time later. Hey, LJ. For real, LJ. He escorts her into the back of her Suburban. 
No, 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 no. They get in together. No, 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 no. Bro, tell me they did not have sex in the back of that truck. I can't say what they did. Please tell me they did not have sex in the back of that truck. But look, Bryce, LJ's fixing his clothes. No, She's putting her jacket back on. No, man, no. Wow. I think you have a couple things to say to both of them. I got a whole bunch of things to say to both of them. They quickly hug each other, give a couple kisses. LJ gets into his vehicle and he leaves. She gets into her vehicle and leaves and Suck. returns home. Suck ass. We actually know exactly where they are right now. What? Let's go get him. All right, Let's go get him. Just so you know, they're at that same cemetery where they were, desecrating that grave, indulging in the cannabis, if we get on the road right now, we can confirm together. Are you ready? Yes, I'm gonna leave his ass there. Come on, let's, right let's this, go get it. Let's right do it. This way. Let's, do it. let's do it. Let's do it. Please, where are they at? We are pulling up right now, my man. As soon as we get out, follow me. Pull up right behind that car. Everybody up. <laughs> Where at, where at, where at? Right there, right there. Yeah! Whoa, 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 yeah, whoa, baby! Hey, 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 yeah, hey, What's up, fool? What's hey, up, fool? Hey, what's hey, up? What's up, fool? What's up, fool? Hey, Kevo, it's about to go down. I'm gonna put these hands on your bitch ass. Nah, why are you doing what, oh, what's no, going no, on? No, no. Coming up next, the conclusion. Just so you know, they're at that same cemetery where they were, desecrating that grave, indulging in the cannabis. Oh, wow, yeah, wow, yeah, wow. Yeah, hey, what's hey, up? Hey, what's hey, up? Hey, what's up? I'm gonna put these hands on your bitch ass. No! I no, put my money with my mouth in, homeboy. Yeah. We're gonna see what the hell is this. What is it? What is all this? Don't, don't. What is all this? Huh? What is all this? Where y'all get all this from? What is this? What is this? That's not, for, that's not for tobacco, what? is it? No. What's up in there? What's that? Hey, hey. What's all this? Hey, homie. Huh? What's all this? What's all this? Hey, man. What's all this? Huh? Yo, they ain't having no party tonight. Party's over. Party's over. Party's over. Did he just throw my weed? Yeah. He just throw my weed? Yeah. At a, Party's over. at a cemetery? Party's over. All things you aside, we don't. Party's over. Everybody you still have my weed? Come on, show ass, man. This is... Party's over. I'm Clark Gable with Peace. the show Cheaters. The reason why I'm here is because your boyfriend called us because he couldn't get answers from what was going on He's with you. He's never at home. That's why he can't get answers. I understand that, but... And I kept asking him to participate <sighs> in things man, that I want to do. This, man. And he doesn't, he does. What type of things we, did you want to do? He won't do like the fetishes. Like, we'll come out to the cemetery and he'll set it up nice for me. He's never at home. You don't think, you don't, you don't think it's a, you don't think it's a little bit of a desecration to people's gravesites? No, this is like a fetish. Come get you. Chill out. You, come get you. Chill. Take come, a, no, you take a witch, you dog. You come take get a witch. Don't sit up here and act like that on this TV. The reason why I'm Don't asking like LJ that. is because he said you guys have been friends for a while. Yeah. He need to, need to ride out. So, we ain't talked. Hey, how you hey. gonna do me like that, bro? What? For real? Man, look. For real? Dude. For real? LJ. Yeah. For real? Come on. I'm telling you to confide you? in you? Come on. For real? Come on. She for been real? She been confiding in me, too. Out because she you were at home, too. For real? For real? How you know I ain't at home? You ain't never there. Amber, let me talk to you for a second. Like that, huh? say, you do? Say, dude. For Get real? Up off me, man. You couldn't come back, talk to me, man. Back up. Huh? You could have came holler at me, bro. Hey man. For real? You could have came holler at you, me. You act like this you over a chick. You act like this over a chick. That's my bitch, man. That's my girl. What does you mean? For real? Say, it's a wrap, baby. It's a wrap. I seen everything. I seen the video. I seen everything. What video? It's a wrap. It's you really rap. want me to pull out the video? Rap. I mean You've been having these people follow us? Are you serious? Yeah. What the hell you mean? Yeah. I get my stuff. Oh, yeah. He been having these people follow us. Oh no, so you can really? follow like, you like, like how you yeah. he just dissipates the world. Hey, if you been your girl, you wouldn't have to worry about saying are that. You hold on, hold on, hold on. Who you think you're talking to? Who you think you're talking to, bro? Who you think you're talking to? Hey dog, you should better take care you should better take care of your mother girl, dude. I mean, you laid a blanket down. You guys also went out, ate together. I mean, what? This is never home. I mean, he. And don't act rap. like you are just innocent. It's a rap. It's a rap. Don't act like you innocent. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. You what lost the best thing you ever had. LJ, what did she tell you? Did she tell you that they were done, or did she just kind of. 
Yeah, actually, she did. She did? Yeah, she told me it was over with. It's right. She told me. Tell me, sucker. This is what? Tell me. Stop Tell trying me, to sucker. fight him. Just leave him alone. Tell me, sucker. Just leave him alone. Tell me, sucker. Just leave it alone. Tell me, sucker. Tell me, sucker. What she say? Amber, what'd tell you, me what she say? Tell me what she said, sucker. What'd you tell him, Amber? You tell him to put all my business? I, I mean, Are you serious? I, I just thought he knows you about the family. He knows, he knows that you're never at home. He knows about you the family. You ain't doing at home. So why she come to me? Come on. Why she come to me? I told you to do all that you're supposed to do. I don't want to talk to you. Shut up. Okay. Okay. Shut up, sucker. Shut up! Yeah. Wait. This is actually gonna get you more answers. What the hell is this? What is this? What do you mean more answers? What is this? You smoking balls? Yeah. Get, get the shit out of here. Party's over. Okay. Party's right. over, sucker. Yeah, all right. Yeah. All right, I got you. Listen, just, huh? can we just get out of here? It's no, we can't get out of here. Why? We can't get out of here. This is what you want to be. How these this people? This is what you want to be. Can I help y'all with something? What, what y'all need to go have that dude over there. Go handle my man over there. He all upset like that. You gotta leave, Parker. Leave, sucker! Leave! Leave! Leave, sucker! Leave! He doesn't satisfy me anymore. But why wouldn't you tell him in the first place? I tried to. Wait, he's good. Wait, wait. I text him. Wait, you text him. Wait, you text text wait. don't believe it, bro. She lied loud, obviously. I text wait. you. Wait, you I text, text me? You. Yeah, I did. You telling me about text? I did. Yeah, she lied loud, Kifo. She lied a whole bunch. She lied a bunch. And then I asked you, did you get my text? And you said yes. Yeah. So don't act like I didn't try to tell you. Do you know Fat Boys is in? And you finna give away all this for that sucker? Girl, please. You just lost out. You lost the best thing ever happened to you. Look this way so you can see so the I best thing ever happened to you ever had. So I wasn't the only one doing the wrong things. I'm done like, talking to her. what do you think I'm he was doing? The main thing I'm just trying to get out of out of you is, you know, your side of the story and also why this had to happen. I think it's important to work it out, but I don't think he's in the same neck of the woods. Hey, dude with the camera. Hey, man, yo, stop. Hey, man, you're done with them lies, man. Stop listening to her, man. We're, I'm ready to go, man. It's, it's time to go. All right, let's we're, load we're up. We're done with her. We're done with her. Load up. Did somebody let her use right this phone? way. Hey, you need to use somebody's phone so you can get home? No, I'm step. going home with you. No, you're not going home with yes, me. Yes, I am. Nope. Yes, it's I am. There's a two-seat up here in my seat. Yes, I Ain't am. Ain't no room for you. Load up. Bryce. Okay, you, you've given them a show. You've done what you need. This Look, isn't... You, oh, no, 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 no. But, okay. honey, you the one put on the show, and I seen you. Matter of fact, you was good. You a good actor. You a damn good actor. I thought you was in love with me. You was acting I the whole time. I am in love no, with you. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. You put, on a, you put on a hell of a show. Hell of a show. And, hey, be careful on your way home. I don't even want to know how you're getting there. Be careful on your way home. Look out for the repo man, though. All right, we got to go. Right. Load up, guys. Everybody in, everybody in, everybody in. <clears throat> Damn. If you could say something right now to somebody that could be in your same predicament, what would you say right now to our audience? Don't hesitate to find out the truth. Don't hesitate. Don't feel guilty because you're suspicious. If you're suspicious, you're suspicious for a reason. Thank you, Bryce. Coming up next, Cheaters revisits a previous case from its archive. These are traits that Jake Abbott was seemingly born with. His girlfriend's recent behavior, however, has been taxing his tolerance. As she pulls away, emotionally and physically, Jake aches for the truth. I'm Joey Greco, and this is Cheaters. The things have been changing is she's just kind of been off lately. She hasn't been the same. When I talked to her on the phone, she's just kind of it's almost like she's not even there. The other day, she went. She said she was going to lunch with a friend, and uh, later on that day, I saw the friend at my restaurant, and I was like, "Hey, how was lunch?" And she said, "What lunch?" And so I was like, "You didn't have lunch with Amy?" She's like, "No." I think she might be uh, seeing my good friend. Uh, they've been friends for a long time. They knew each other when we met. They said that they've never had a relationship, but I feel that it might be the same as when I first met her, and she's repeating herself. I mean, she's had trouble with relationships in the past. Uh, she comes from an abused home. So I, you know, I'm kind of worried. I love her with all my heart. And I was planning on proposing to her at the place where we first met, at the restaurant, in front of all our friends together. And now there's just so many red flags coming up. I'm skeptical. Uh, I already bought the ring and just was getting ready to ask, and then this came up, and I just love her so much. 
If you suspect infidelity in your relationship, Cheaters Detective Agency may be able to provide you assistance. Exercise your right to be informed. Investigative charges may apply. Amy Graff, age 29, a clothing buyer suspected of presenting herself in a singularly obtainable fashion. Investigation Day 1. In anticipation of movement, cheaters' operatives form a perimeter around the suspect's place of employment. As lunchtime nears, boundary agents view the suspect, Amy Graff, exiting her boutique and entering her car. Mobile units engage pursuit, following Graff to the restaurant managed by her boyfriend, complainant Abbott. She enters, and once inside, is supplied with an exotic cocktail by Jake. Graff grabs her drink and settles in a nearby booth. While she nurses her cocktail, a waiter stops by, offering his expert service. Graff is supposedly satisfied while waiting for her diligent dearest. But while Jake tends to the restaurant's customers, Graff takes a bathroom break. Agents covering the interior pay little attention to the ladies' room, but they become curiously alert after 15 minutes pass with no sign of the suspect. While deciding if a recon team is required, agents are then stunned by the appearance of the unknown male waiter emerging from the women's restroom. No less than a minute later, Graff exits and wastes little time departing the restaurant, leaving Jake to clean up the mess while she returns to work. Investigation Day 4. Mobile units connect with suspect Graff after she closes shop early and arrives at Jake's restaurant. While Amy slings down her suds, the unknown male waiter, whose identity is withheld, saunters up to the bar and portrays himself as everybody's best friend. The waiter eventually bids adieu by downing his third brew and shaking the hand of his boss. With knowledge of Jake's mistrust of the waiter, agents keep a close eye on Graff once she also finishes her libation and leaves the restaurant. Mobile units track the suspect down the road to an out-of-the-way wine tavern. She enters and is warmly welcomed by the after-hours waiter. The two settle at a table. Graff's companion pours her a deep glass of Cabernet before they share a toast to their crowning seclusion. It's apparent that the waiter's true thirst is for Graff. He grabs her head and pulls her mouth to his. They finally break apart, and with a jerk of his head, the couple depart the winery. The duo is discovered inside Graff's car, continuing their surreptitious smooching. After some time, a laughing Graff pokes and prods her boy toy out of the car before she returns home for the evening. Investigation Day 10. Mobile units begin tracking the suspect once she leaves her job quite some time after closing. She arrives at a local drugstore, and before agents can organize the ground team, she exits. Her purpose becomes quite clear once she pauses by the trash can and rips open a package of condoms. She stashes the three-pack into her purse and quickly returns to the road. While Graff plans to play it safe at the waiter's house, it's Jake who's left unprotected as exhibited by this recorded phone call. Appalled by the proof, Cheater's intelligence bring the facts back home and begin preparing a dossier for Jake's ultimate review. Coming up, the confrontation. With an abundance of evidence confirming his girlfriend's betrayal, Jake is summoned to observe the findings. Tense and anxious regarding the ultimate outcome, Jake prepares himself for the awful truth. Jake, I know this is last minute. We left you a message over the course of the evening. 
which he returned this morning. And, uh, and forgive me for jumping into this expeditiously, but obviously time is of the essence. Our investigators have information regarding your relationship that they felt was crucial for you to see as soon as possible. Jake, we began our investigation of your girlfriend, Amy, on this afternoon. Around about lunchtime, she exits her place of employment, gets into her car and was followed until she arrived, actually at the establishment where you work. She comes up to the bar, grabs a drink, then goes and sits at a booth, presumably to enjoy some lunch. We see at some point that one of your employees stops by the table, greets her, they have a small chat. Now, this is the person that I think you may have expressed some concerns with in the past. Is that correct? Yes. All right. A short time later, she appears to receive a text, gets up, and excuses herself to the restroom. Sometime later, we see your employee exiting the restroom, followed shortly after by Amy. She quickly moves out of the restroom, jumps into her car and leaves. On this day, Jake, we followed Amy after she got off work late. Our detectives followed her as she stopped at a drugstore pharmacy. She goes in, she made some purchases, but while exiting on the way back to her car, we see her remove one of the items that she purchased from the bag, places them in her purse, and discards the box that they were enclosed in. From there, Amy goes directly to her residence. And later that evening, a call was made for some pizza. We see the delivery man arrive, answers the door in a robe, pays the man, and goes back inside. Jake, that was last evening. That was last night? That's happened before in your relationship. It has. It? What was her explanation the last time this happened? Last time it happened, she just said that she, uh, she just fell asleep, she had too much to drink, was hanging out, fell asleep. And it seemed like likely, you know, they used to be friends. Obviously, maybe she was lying. Let me give our detective a call, let him know that we're on our way, and see if there have been any changes. Hey, we picked up Jake, and we're on our way right now. Everyone still there? No movement? She's still there. Okay. All right. Fine. We know the address, and we'll, so we'll just park on a side street, and we'll look for the detective. Gotcha. All right. See you in a second. I think we're getting close now. Okay. All right. Here's the detective. Hey, what's happening? It's a little after nine right now. This house is right over there. Okay. I said what we do is we park the vans, we wait until he comes out. As soon as you guys see him step out of that house. Okay, go. which is, and his car's the silver? His car's that silver car. Got it. He's right in front of it. We know she's in there. And he's got to be at work at 9.30? Yeah, 9.30. Let's pull even. Let's not block this drive. As soon as he steps out, that's when we go. All right. All right. Sounds good. All right, there he is. Is. Everybody load out, load out, load out, right there. Load out, load out, do with the long hair, load out. Yeah. What's going on, huh, uh, Amy? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Another guy. Get in here. What's your car doing here? Why is there car here? I don't know, dude. I don't know what you're talking about. What is all this? Coming up, the conclusion. is right over there. As soon as he steps out, that's when we go. What the f is Amy's car doing here? I don't know, dude. I don't know what you're talking about. What is all this? Give me the keys. Uh -uh. Give me the keys. Uh -uh. The keys. Uh, okay, okay. 
is what's this? Amy is not here. Pizza? What are you talking about? Bull Amy is not here, dude. What are you doing here? Get out of there! No. What is going on? Oh God! What is this? What is this? What is this? The Booze? Just get out of my face! Every hey, why are you doing all these people? Well, I think you kind of do, though, don't you? No, 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 I don't. Amy, get over here. Get over here. Yo, what the f are you doing? Get the f off me! Why are your clothes out here? This, I'm calling the cops. My lawyer is the best in town. It's going to be the Tyler yeah. Brown show, mother Okay, terrific. Yeah, okay, so everybody get the f out of my house. We Go. got good lawyers, too. Go. I'm not consenting to this. What, what the f is going on? This. You're busted. You're caught. After all we went through. I thought we didn't want to do this. Get this out of my face. Go. Turn the cameras off. I'm not talking anymore. Go. Go. What did you talk in the first place? Yeah, all of this off of my house. Oh, oh, Get shut up. Get your ass. Get the out of You're here. You're fired. Yeah, I'm totally burning all your Magic the Gathering cards, mother. Done. Illusions. Good, I didn't want to close it out anyway. That place sucks. Why were you... What, what the please turn the camera on. Okay, well, no one's going to air your or broadcast image without your approval, so you don't have to worry about that if you're concerned about privacy. I've, waiting. I've had this for six months. What the waiting that? for the right time. The Putting that? all of her naked pictures on reddit.com. Oh, what so the real gentleman. Oh, really? <laughs> really? No, what the... Will you marry me? I just... You guys are so awful. Don't you? Okay. Now you're asking me to marry you? You're nuts. Seriously? Okay, this is seriously crazy. Is wow. this because I didn't buy you the porcelain knife set? You <laughs> seriously, this does not need to be on. You're I can't crazy. believe you involved. Well, is this is this, this a joke for you? Wow. And you're throwing. I mean, all right, cool. Keep it. Serious now. Serious. Damn, that's nice. Thanks. Yeah. Appreciate it. I don't have a job. Can we just talk about this without the cameras? No, talk about it now. That's why we're here. Can we just this is your fault. This is all your fault. Come with, come over here. Is this a joke for you, though? Well, no, not really. But, uh, you know, having everybody storm into my house when I'm going my way to work is kind of hard to deal with right now, so. Why the would you do this? What's going on? You could have just talked to me. I mean, you've been working all the time. This was someone that you were friends with, right? Yeah. Who's your boss? Yeah, her and I just connected, I guess. Okay. What can I say? You're busy all the time. I've seen you at like two hours this past week. Hey, why don't you why don't you take that somewhere else? Why don't you get it off of my property? Oh. Gotcha. 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 Guys. No, no, wait. Stop. 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 Get, get away from me. Stay down. Just don't. Don't. Stop. Are you, don't come in tonight. You're done. Seriously. Right. What are you doing? Were you concerned, I'm going Amy? To my car. It's half my car. You do not pay for this car. Go. Get out. We can figure it I out. I need to get out of here. Well, uh, probably not. The, not no. Probably no. That's probably not a good idea, bro. What do you, where do you have to be? You got another guy's house you got to go to later? Oh, just stay away. Oh, yeah. No, no, you're staying right here. You're not going any further than this. So let me make my dog, get my dogs out. Can you please turn the, I'm serious. Again, please, turn the camera off. What, what is it that brought you to this place where you are now? He's working all the time. I had no idea. I thought he was about to break up with me. I didn't expect things to get to this, okay? I didn't plan mm -hmm. for this. I don't know where the keys went. Christ. Are you guys are freaking me out. I can't even think. Give me the keys, sucker. Give me her keys. Where are her keys at? Hey, why don't you take her pants oh, while that? you're out? Get out of here. Go. Is that them? You got them? Yes. Everybody, out. Go. Yeah, get that out of my face. Go. 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 Seriously, get it out of my face. Go. Go. I'm driving. I don't trust you right now. You're too emotional. I'm driving. We're, good. We're just going. We're driving around. We'll talk. Okay. 
I, I just, going to buy I, video games, <laughs> hair ties. Stop it with the video games. Hey, you forgot those. Just stay, just. Get in the car. Are, are you okay to drive? I'm fine. Are you sure you're gonna be all right? I know you're a little amped up right now and I don't want to let this escalate into anything else. Okay, sure. And don't hesitate if you need anything else. All right. Thanks for all your help. And good luck to both of you. Thank you. I guess I won't be alert. Wait! Đây 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 Biết kiến chứ, đừng có biết kiến, không có đỏ tù tù ra Vãi đồi thật Không có giả mồi máu luôn, nó chém nó hút máu vãi đái thật Mẹ ăn cầm lặng của tao, hai giây rồi mà mẹ ăn nó Đấy nhanh vãi cả đái Mẹ ăn đánh gà quá Mạnh quá Trời ơi anh Đức Lao cả đời vào Ông giết đấy, ông giết đấy ông giết đấy Đây, cái tem, cái tem, tem, cái tem kéo ra Chơi luôn, chơi luôn, chơi luôn, chơi luôn Chơi nặng được Có đi xe em rồi Chú em mình được rồi Ui, đi ra Đây em ơi, đánh Có rơ, có rơ Ôi, mang rơ của anh Ôi, mang rơ của anh Si đây, mày có biết không? Đúng rồi Cái này là sốt Chiếu bé, chiếu bé, con lợn này Ở mày nhớ, đi bé, nó hết nước về Nó sợ rét rồi cho nên nó giật về luôn Rồi ngừng tí 